welcome! Bienvenidos a Spanish with Profe. In this channel, we will learn Spanish. En este canal, vamos a aprender español. I will be your professor. I am a native speaker of Spanish and I hold a PhD in Spanish from the University of California. I have been teaching Spanish at the university level for over 20 years. Feel free to leave your comments below with any questions about learning Spanish and any video topics you would like me to cover. Don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for future videos. It helps with the YouTube algorithm. Muchas gracias. Y bienvenidos una vez más a Spanish Book Profe. If you haven't yet subscribed, make sure that you do. And smash the like button. In today's video, we are going to continue talking about the subjunctive. Yes, 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 the subjunctive. In today's video, the subjunctive that we're going to be talking about will be dealing with verbs of denial, doubt, and disbelief, negation. Listos, chicos. Ready? Vamos a comenzar. Let's begin. Let's remember that the subjunctive happens in the subordinate clause. The subjunctive has regular verbs, irregular verbs, stem-changing verbs, and reflexive verbs. Remember that in the subjunctive there's spelling change in car, gar, sad, and head. Car will go to ku, ku, u. Gar will go to he, u. Sar will go to a C, and her will go to a J, J, muy bien. And remember that in the subjunctive, the nosotros form ending in IR ending will go to O to a U, and the E to an I. The subjunctive is a probability, a hypothetical thing that could happen, that might happen. Unlike in English, in Spanish, something is probable or possible implies uncertainty. And that will trigger the subjunctive. Another thing that you have to remember is that in Spanish, the verb creer, to believe, pensar, to think, if they are in the uh, in the positive form, they are certain. And like in English, there is a, if you believe something, you're certain, but if you think something, you're not so sure. But in Espanol, creer y pensar are certain as long as they are in the positive form. In English, it's different to think and to believe. There's a degree of doubt. Pero muy bien. Ahora comencemos. Es probable que nosotros no blank ir al cine. Es probable que nosotros blank ir al cine. So, es probable is an expression that will require the subjunctive provided that you have a different subject. And in this case, it follows that rule. Es probable que nosotros. Nosotros is subject B. So, is the subjunctive form of the verb ir is it Vamos, y se vaya, o dice vayamos. Pick one. Yes, it's vayamos. Vayamos is the subjunctive form of the verb ir for nosotros. So the answer is, es probable que nosotros no vayamos al cine. Es probable que nosotros no vayamos al cine. Next. Es posible que ellos blank saber hablar francés. Es posible que ellos blank saber hablar francés. Es posible is one of those expressions that will require the subjunctive 
provided that you have a second different subject. And in this case, yes, there's one, and that is, yes, ellos, ellos. So now, what is the subjunctive form of saber? It says, saben, it says, sepa, or sepan. Pick one. Yes, sepan is the subjunctive form for ellos of the verb saber. Yes, so the answer is, es posible que ellos sepan hablar francés. It is possible that they can speak French. Es posible que ellos sepan hablar francés. Muy bien. Next. Dudo que tu blank Hacer la tarea. Do que tú blank hacer la tarea. Do means I doubt. Therefore, it will require the subjunctive provided that we have a different subject. We have do that is yo, and we have a tú. So do we have the subjunctive? Sí, hay subjuntivo. ¿Y cuál es la forma del subjuntivo? Para tú, del verbo hacer, he said, haces, hagamos, o hagas. Pick one. Yes, hagas is the subjunctive form of the verb. So, the right answer is, yo dudo que tú hagas la tarea, o dudo que tú hagas la tarea. Remember that hacer is an irregular verb, so we go hacer, look at the yo form in the present tense, hago, drop the o and substitute the o for the new vowel. So, and then follow the pattern. So, dudo que tú hagas la tarea. Muy bien. So, what happens if there is no change in subject? Well, as we have learned in the past, if there is no change in subject, only the first verb is conjugated and the next one is going to be in the infinitive, meaning that you don't do anything to it, you just leave it as it is. So let's do some examples. Dudo blank llegar temprano. Dudo blank llegar temprano. How many subjects are in the sentence? Just one, yo. So what happens to llegar? You're just gonna leave it as it is. So dudo llegar temprano. Dudo llegar temprano, excelente. Dudo que ustedes blank llegar temprano. Dudo que ustedes blank llegar temprano. So, dudo is yo. And do we have a subject being here? Yes, ustedes. Therefore, we need to have the subjunctive. Can you choose the subjunctive for me? He said, llego, llegas. O lleguen. Can you choose the subjunctive? Pick one. Yes, lleguen is the subjunctive form. Recuerden que car, gar, thar, and her do a spelling change. So in this case, gar will go to gu and then change the ending. Muy bien. Dudo que ustedes lleguen temprano. Dudo que ustedes lleguen temprano. Muy bien. Next. Es posible blank comer demasiado. Es posible blank comer demasiado. How many subjects do we have in here? Is it one or two? Yes, only one. Es posible. So what's happened to comer? We don't do anything. We just leave it as it is. So es posible Comer demasiado. Es posible comer demasiado. It's possible that to eat a lot. It's possible. In one sitting, people can eat a lot. Okay, muy bien. Siguiente. Now let's compare this other one. Es posible que nosotros blank comer demasiado. Es posible que nosotros blank comer demasiado. So, es posible is an expression that will require the subjunctive provided that we have a second different subject. Do we have that? How many subjects do we have? Es posible is one. 
And we have nosotros. Yes. So we're going to use the subjunctive. What is the subjunctive form? It says, coma, comemos, o comamos. Pick one. Pick the subjunctive. Can you pick it? Yes. Comamos. Comamos. Es posible que nosotros comamos. Comamos. Excelente. Muy bien. Es posible que nosotros comamos demasiado. Comamos demasiado. Muy bien. But what happens if the statement is certain, is true? What happens if the statement is for sure, 100% true? Then, if that is the case, we will not use the subjunctive. We're just going to use the indicative. So, let's begin. Mi mamá no duda que ese chico es italiano. Mi mamá no duda, there's no doubt, que ese chico es italiano. That is, es is the form of ser in the indicative. How about next? Mi papá duda que ellos blank ser franceses. Doubting. So, if there's doubt, there's another person, then you use the subjunctive. So, mi papá duda que ellos sean franceses. Sean franceses. Muy bien. Not Sean, but sean franceses. Muy bien. In Spanish, pensar en creer, as long as they're in the positive form, will require for you to use the indicative if there's a second person. Okay? But if they become negative, then if they have a big fat no in front of them, then they will use the subjunctive because it's negation in that case. Okay, muy bien. So let's begin. Yo pienso que ellos no blank ser amables. Yo pienso que ellos no blank ser amables. So yo pienso is like I think, I believe in Spanish that is certainty, 100%. So, since I'm certain, then I'm going to use that indicative. It's the indicative of the verb ser for ellos. Somos, son, o sean. Choose one. Yes, son is the indicative form. So, the answer is, yo pienso que ellos no son amables. Yo pienso que ellos no son amables. Next. How about now? Tú no piensas, no piensas, that's a negative statement, it's a negation. Que nosotros, blank, ser capaces de correr 40 millas. Tú no piensas que nosotros, blank, ser capaces de correr 40 millas. So, Tú no piensas, that's a negation. And do we have a second subject in here? Yes, we have nosotros. So, therefore, we're going to have the subjunctive in here. This is the subjunctive. So, let's begin. So, tú no piensas que nosotros, can you give me the subjunctive? Is the subjunctive form, somos, son, o seamos. Take one. Yes, seamos is the right answer. Tú no piensas que nosotros seamos capaces de correr 40 millas. Muy bien. Next. So, with the phrase, es obvio, es verdad, they're going to recall. As long as they're in the affirmative, in the positive, they're going to be searching. So, that means that there will be no subjunctive in there, okay? For example, es verdad que usted no dice la verdad. Es verdad que usted no dice la verdad. It is true that you don't say the truth. Recuerden, chicos, that that subjunctive is denial, desire, negation, doubt. But if we are certain, if something is true, that means that we're going to use the indicative. And the indicative is just what we have been uh, learning all throughout, the indicative is just a conjugated verb, and in this case, it's in the present tense. Muy bien. 
So, es verdad que usted no dice la verdad. How about now? No es verdad. It's not true. Que ustedes blank decir la verdad. So, now the statement becomes negative. It's a negation. So, we're going to have the subjunctive. Yes, we are going to have the subjunctive because in this case, we have no es verdad, that will be our subject A, and the verb. And no es verdad means it is not true. So it, it is the subject, okay. It is not true that you all say the truth. Mm-hmm, no es verdad. So, uh, no es verdad que ustedes, and then the verb is decir. So we uh, decided that it's going to be the subjunctive. So decir is an irregular verb. For those, for most irregular verbs, we're going to go with the yo form. So decir in the present tense for yo is yo digo with an o. You're going to drop the o and put the new ending. So the answer is no es verdad que ustedes digan, digan, digan la verdad, digan la verdad. Muy bien. Es importante que yo, blank, hacer la tarea. Es importante que yo, blank, hacer la tarea. Are we going to use the subjunctive or the indicative? Tell me why and leave your answer, por favor. Dos. Dudamos que el blank tener un millón de colones. Dudamos que el blank tener un millón de colones. Is it indicative or subjunctive? And why? Leave your answers below, por favor. Siguiente. Mi hermano cree que Santa Claus no blank existir. Mi hermano cree que Santa Claus no existir. That's the verb. Existir is the verb. Siguiente. Es obvio, that's number four. Es obvio que ustedes blank no... The verb is saber. La verdad. Es obvio que ustedes no blank saber la verdad. Leave your answers below. Número 5. Ella piensa que tú blank ser una gran persona. Ella piensa que tú blank ser una gran persona. Recuerden chicos. No se les olvide, smash the like button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for future videos. Muchas gracias y hasta pronto. Smash the like button.